I'm slightly hungover this morning. It was an amazing night last night. Uh, first off, we went to uh, St Luke's Folk Club at Tidenham, at the church there. Incredible talent, absolutely incredible. There was uh, um, a guy called Michael Levy, Levy who plays uh, fiddle and he played two uh, Ukrainian tunes with his daughter, Rosie. Anyway, I'm clearing my head with a, a nice dog walk this morning. The second half of last yesterday evening uh, was at the new in Viney Hill with uh, watching Alistair play with a band with no name. And the place was absolutely rammed, it was heaving. And it was another most excellent night. So, it's a nice sunny morning, Sunday. Gonna take it easy today. I'm gonna go for lunch out later at Weatherspoons. And uh, end today with music as well because we're going to see the Rob Connolly band in Chepstow at the uh, Three Tons. So this is gonna be, this is my Sunday walk. A bit muddy. <laughs> I've just entered the Hudnall's Wood. There are ancient rites in these woods. The parishioners of St. Greville's are allowed to let their animals roam freely in these woods. And we can also take any wood that we can carry out uh, by hand. Obviously you can't go chopping down trees with a chainsaw or anything like that, but uh, these rites go way, way back uh, to about the 1100s, when the Earl of Hereford's wife was supposedly to have uh, ridden naked in the manner of Lady Godiva uh, to procure the rites uh, for the people of the area. This is interesting. There's like what looks like um, stone gate posts and uh, it's almost like um, a trackway of stone. Now it's not on a footpath line. So I have a theory because there was milling done it. Um, no, quarrying done in the area. I'm wondering if they use this kind of trackway to roll the millstones that they quarried down to the river. Just a theory. Absolutely not sure. But it's interesting. Look at all these uh, two stones have been just placed here like a gateway. This is actually marked on the map as a footpath, but hardly anybody uses it. The only tracks I can see are deer tracks. Um, it's nice, nice and quiet. This part of the footpath I cleared uh, about a year ago. I haven't done too bad actually. Could do with coming down with a pair of secateurs and just snipping away at it. That tree was fallen last year, but I will just go under that. There's the footpath sign. And still, there's only, all I've got here is animal tracks. Nobody ever walks this way, except me. This is a, a favorite spot for me. There's, um, there's a stone here where I like to uh, kind of sit and contemplate life. It's too wet to sit on today. I'd 
love to know if it's natural or somebody placed it there. It's just a perfect spot just to sit down in the peace and quiet. see some deer down there. Pixie stay. Good girl. Um, we've stopped running now. I think it's probably too... Ah, yeah, you can just see them. They've spotted us, they know we're here. I think they're just thinking, what is our next move? <laughs> I'm very glad I've got good dogs. Pixie behaving herself perfectly. Oh, oh, we found a friend. Where do you come from, hey? Just look how green that moss is. Absolutely incredible. Right, I'm totally off piste now. Just exercising my uh, right as a parishioner of St. Breville's. Uh, I'm free to roam. There's been a lot of um, trees down this winter. I'm assuming in the gales uh, we had earlier. Wild gooseberry bushes. I just love these tree roots. How amazing is that? I wonder how long that's been there. <laughs> I've only ever known this dwelling as a ruin. There's uh, that must have been where the fork came from, possibly, because there's signs of old habitation here, bits of pottery. There's a fence line up there which is the line of the Offersdyke footpath and that's where we'll head for I think and go back along the, the footpath which is at the top of the wood up there. And we're back on the track. <laughs> I'm overlooking where I walked right down there earlier. It's uh, it's not easily accessible from up here. Fabulous. But you've got to go off piste to get to a few special places. where I said those trees were down, looking from above.
this place is for let, uh, holiday accommodation. Can you imagine living in a place like, well, uh, having a holiday there? It was on one of those um, uh, move to the country programs, well, the property was behind it. And uh, the couple who viewed it actually bought the place. And uh, this is part of their property. It's amazing. Can you imagine waking up in the morning and having all this on your doorstep? Cost a pretty fortune though to stay there. And I've got it all for free. So lucky to live in a place like this. I can just see the top of the stone where I like to sit, way down there. <laughs> I'm on the footpath and I wonder what people think when they see this strange woman sitting in the middle of the woods. And do I care? No, not a jot. The so wood anemones appearing. So that's the dog walk done for the day. Well, the first one anyway. Two hours we've been out probably. And, uh, it's cleared the head. The dogs will get another shorter walk this afternoon. Comfort walk. Uh, so we're heading home now to see if Alistair's up and about out of bed yet. <laughs>